It goes without saying that today's surgical techniques are far more sophisticated than those from just a generation ago. From outpatient facilities to hospital ORs, these improvements can be found throughout the industry. Guided medical procedures are vital to modern medicine, but visualization of soft tissue has been difficult or impossible. An unacceptable radiation exposure for physicians and medical staff has been inevitable due to the limitations of traditional tools. Imricor is changing how guided procedures are performed. Our devices are specifically designed to work safely and effectively inside MRIs. So when you're doing a minimally invasive procedure like cardiac ablation, you're trading off the ability to see with your eyes what you're working on and the therapy you're trying to deliver to a patient. And x-ray today is the imaging modality that's been used for the past 30 years in these procedures. The problem with x-ray imaging is that the soft tissues of the heart, those are invisible to x-ray imaging. What we can do with MRI is we can visualize the characteristics of the heart. Using that will allow us to, we hope, create way more effective procedures all in a safer environment. So the main advantage is about that it is a radiation-free procedure that you have direct access to the tissue characteristics. With x-rays, you don't see all these structures in the heart. And in MRI, you have a 3D representation of the anatomy by millimeter. The ability to work in MRIs gives physicians a level of precision and visibility that wasn't possible before, while also protecting them from the harmful radiation or physical strain from wearing heavy lead protection. So the initial feedback we've received from physicians has been extremely positive. I mean, we've changed the entire environment that they've been trained and have been working in for years. Now bringing that into the MR, using our North Star, electroanatomical mapping and incorporating that with real-time soft tissue imaging, I mean, it's the gold standard. Imacor started on the vision of a handful of doctors at Johns Hopkins University who thought that we should move away from this old-fashioned x-ray imaging for these cardiac ablation procedures and toward MRI imaging. But the one thing they were struggling to produce were devices that were MRI compatible. As an electrical engineer who worked at designing MR and ultrasound systems in the past, I found myself working in this field of MR compatibility. So they asked me if we could work together to make the devices that are uniquely MR compatible, allowing them then to do these procedures in an MRI. Shifting from X-ray to MR-guided procedures creates a safer and more sustainable work environment. For healthcare systems, this has the potential for less downtime, fewer occupational health hazards, and a tangible commitment to clinician safety without compromising procedural efficacy or patient outcomes. We may have some abnormalities in our heart, but in the current procedure imaging workflow, a physician's not going to know. With MR, we can show you that. We can show you where you need to move your catheter, where your catheter is now, and they know what tools and directions they need to go to complete that procedure. When you do procedures with our technology, the per procedure cost is less as well. And we can do all in this radiation-free setting so the doctors and the nurses and the medical staff aren't irradiated unnecessarily with x-ray radiation each day. The long-term health benefit I can foresee for physicians performing ablation within an interventional MRI is about the exposure to radiation, which might affect your vision, for instance, or increase the risk of developing left-sided brain tumors. There's been a lot of investment and innovation trying to protect physicians and patients from the ionizing radiation caused during these procedures. At Imricor, we're bringing in a new era of precise imaging technology with no radiation. And also, I think a very important point, we would do the diagnostics of the patient before the patient enters the MRI EP lab. So a lot of work which is done now in the lab will not be done in the lab anymore in the future, which is also good for the physicians. They don't have to stay here for five hours, but maybe for two or three. At Imricor, it's about doing work that matters. We're not just building technology. We're changing the way procedures are done with a commitment to impact that goes beyond the bottom line. Cardiology is just the tip of the spear for us. We can look at neurological conditions, oncological needs, orthopedic. Really, this is the beginning of a transformation on how interventions are performed. Think of anything that you want to see in a tissue and you want to guide a tool to that tissue. 
this is perfect. The physicians' imaginations will start to come up with new ways and new ideas that we can expand this platform of technology into other applications, even beyond ablations. So the future of Emercore, I think, goes beyond cardiac ablations. There's just such a wide area of procedures where this can be beneficial. And I see a future where we have changed the standard of care toward MR guidance for a broad range of these interventions. There will be a time when people look back and say, of course we do these procedures guided by MRI. It seems foolish to do them any other way. And I think that that future is right around the corner. For more information, visit emrecore.com.